No. No. Not that. Answer here. Hang on. Why is this is difficult. Canal. Instance. Island. Work. Yeah. They're all the same. Hi. Mikasa statue, you know? Nice figure that. Konnichiwa, and welcome back to the only series on YouTube where a fully qualified English teacher from England fails at answering university entrance exam questions from Japan. It's been five, six weeks since I last recorded a video, and everything, everything has gone different. Uh, as you can tell, I'm back home. Thought I would spend the time to be able to come home, see my family. But... That's not what's at hand right now. What is at hand is the Senta Shikem, which I think I mentioned last week. Uh, we're going to be covering this in two videos. There's quite a lot of questions, so we're going to split it up into two. Um, this first video, we're going to be looking at some pronunciation questions, um, and then we're going to be looking at some word fill questions. Now, for the pronunciation questions, obviously, I'm a native speaker. I know how to pronounce the words. So all I'm going to do... Uh, is pronounce them twice and then say which one is obviously the, the odd one out. So for some of the questions you have to choose which uh, word has a highlighted letter pronounced differently and for the second half of the pronunciation questions you have to guess which syllable has the stress in it which will be easy from my voice so I'm gonna just repeat it twice and then you can try and guess for yourself and answer the question like that. And then next week or next video, we'll be looking at the longer answer questions which come at the end, which have some paragraphs. I haven't actually looked at them, <laughs> but there's three questions which have some paragraphs and long sentences, and we'll figure out what we need to do with those next week. But for now, sorry for the long introduction, diving into question number one, pronunciation. So which one of these words has SC pronounced differently? We have scarce, scenery, Scratch, scream. Scarce, scenery, scratch, scream. Should be fairly easy. Uh, obviously much easier with my voice. So for one, three, and four, we have scarce, scratch, scream. And for two, we have scenery. So there's obviously a difference here. We've got scr, 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 or s. So the answer here is two scenery because SC is pronounced just like an S. The others is SC. It's good. Okay, simple. Question number two. We have arise, desire, loose, loose, resemble. And we're looking for the S, which S is different. Arise, desire, loose, resemble. Now, if you read it like an idiot, like me, you'll think, hmm, these all sound the same. They don't. Loose. Loose. Not lose, like I lost the game or I will lose the game. It's loose, as in um, my clothes are quite loose. Which means the others are Z. Z. Arise. Desire. Uh, resemble. But answer number three is lo loose. Loose. Which is an S. So the answer here is three. And question number three, uh, which U is different? We have accuse, cube, cucumber, cultivate. Accuse, cube, cucumber, cultivate. Should be fairly easy from the sound of my voice. The answer here, we have U, 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 for cues, cube, cuke. And number four, we have cul, cultivate. So the answer here, four. Cultivate sounds completely different. Brilliant. Stress questions. Now, the stress questions, I want you to answer these from my voice. Okay? So we have four words in each question. And the stress will always be on the same syllable in each word. So whether that's the first syllable, second syllable, third syllable, doesn't matter. Every single one will have it on the same syllable. But it's your job to tell me which one doesn't. So, let's give an example. Question number one. We have allergy, objective, 
physical, strategy. So we had four words. They are all multiple syllables. Three of them have the syllables, the stress syllables, at the same time. One of them doesn't. I'll go through them again. Allergy. Objective. Physical. Strategy. Can you tell from my voice which one it was? The answer is two. Objective. That's the odd one out. Allergy. First syllable. Physical. First syllable. Strategy. First syllable. Objective. Second syllable. That's the process that we're going to go through for these questions. So, question number two. Alcohol. Behavior. Consider. Magnetic. Alcohol. Behavior. Consider. Magnetic. The answer here? One. Alcohol. Stress is on the first syllable. Uh, I was going to say something else and forgotten. I don't drink. There you go. That's a, something else I can say. Uh, I don't drink at all, but a lot of my friends do, so I say this word all the time. Um, alcohol, first syllable. Behavior, second syllable. Consider, second syllable. Magnetic, second syllable. Question number three. Canal. Instance. Island. Workshop. Canal. Instance. Island. Workshop. Answer here. Number one. Canal. Uh, no. No. Not that. Answer here. Ah. Oh. Hang on. Well, this is difficult. Canal. Instance. Island. Workshop. Yeah, they're all the same. That's in a British English accent, anyway. Canal, second syllable. In no, hang on, I've just realised I've, I've messed it up, yeah. Oh god, I'm hopeless at this. I'm still quite tired, okay? Being stuck inside, very uh, tiring. Canal, second syllable. Instance, first syllable. Island, first syllable. Workshop, first syllable. So the answer here, one, canal. And question number four. Administer. Beneficial. Competitor. Democracy. Administer. Beneficial. Competitor. Democracy. Answer here. Two. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a second to reread them all. Beneficial. Third syllable. Beneficial. Administer. Second syllable. Competitor. Second syllable. Democracy. Second syllable. All I can think of when I hear the word democracy is Star Wars, when Obi-Wan and Anakin are fighting on Mustafa, and uh, Obi-Wan's like, My allegiance is to the Republic, to democracy! He says it in that exact tone, and it's always going to stick in my head. Uh, but yeah, so the answer here is too beneficial, because that's on the third syllable. Um, I'll tell you what. What we'll do is we will end the video here. And I'll do the word fill questions and the paragraph questions in the next video. Now the reason I'm doing that is because there's a sentence that I want to share with you. Uh, sorry, my chair's quite squeaky. Um, there's a sentence that I want to share with you about stress. So in English, in the English language, we have two different types of stress. We have word stress, which is the syllable in a word, which is what we were just doing. Um, that makes it sound natural. So just like in uh, Japanese, you have pitch accent, where your voice goes up and down depending on the word you're saying. In English, we have stress, which means you put emphasis on one part of the word, such as emphasis, you put it on a first syllable, and it just sounds more natural. There's also a second type of stress, and that type of stress is sentence stress. And so how sentence stress works is that you not only do you stress the syllables in the words, but you stress one word more than the rest of the words around them. And what that does is uh, add extra meaning to the word that you choose to stress. So I'm going to say a sentence, and I'm going to say a sentence with no stress at all. I'm not going to change the way I say any of the words. That sentence is, I never said she stole my money. I never said she stole my money. Seven word sentence. 
one of the only sentences in the English language where the meaning changes on every single word that you stress. What do I mean? Pause the video and by yourself write down, I never said she stole my money. And then out loud, I want you to try and say the sentence by stressing each word separately and see the different meanings that you get out of this sentence. So go ahead and do that and then press play on the video once you've had a little go. Okay, you found it yourself and you might have come up with a few different meanings, but I'm going to go through every single one. So, I never said she stole my money. That means that I didn't say that, but someone else did. I wasn't the one that said it, but maybe someone else did. I never said she stole my money. That means I just never said I never said that. That never came out of my mouth. Nobody has ever said that. I never said she stole my money. I didn't say it, but I meant it. Maybe I wrote it down. Maybe I sent it as a text message to my mum. I never said she stole my money. That person, she's innocent. It's not her. It's it's him. Or it's her. Or it's me. I don't know. I never said she stole my money. She didn't steal the money. Maybe she spent it on a car. Maybe she bought herself a car and whoever this person is didn't know that was going to happen. It's not stealing the money. Maybe they both own it. But she went and bought a car without him knowing. I never said she stole my money. Didn't steal my money. I don't care. Stole his. Not a big deal. I never said she stole my money. She didn't steal any money from me. She stole my... What have I got? What have I got that's valuable? I never said she stole my money. I said she stole my Mikasa statue, you know? There's some Halo Marines on it. Hang on. Nice big of that. She stole my Mikasa statue. Not my, not my money. I don't care about my money, you know? So, by putting the stress on each of the seven different words, you get seven different meanings from one sentence. And I think it's quite an interesting and funny fact about English that, you know, it's quite fun to share and it's quite a bit of uh, fun to, to learn about too. Quick video uh, about stress. Um, and the next week, we'll carry on with the sentence you can. We'll do the word fill questions and we'll do the longer sentence questions as well. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I will see you again probably next week when I finish off these questions. Thank you very much. Goodbye.